Welcome to my video about Amphis Wire, in which I will show you how you can create a bonfire layout within minutes. I'm Samuel from Amphis. What you see here is the software Rhino, and it has some tools provided by Amphis Wire. And this here is a bonfire layout, how it could look like in a power electronics circuit. It uses wedge wire bonding. The software can also do layouts of ball wire bonding. First I will delete this layout and then I'll create it again. This is the geometry, how it could be imported into the software. I already prepared some lines here representing the area in which I'm allowed to bond with some safety distance to the border of the bond pad. I just create the layer, name it Power Wires, and create the layout. I can choose what type of bond wires I want to use, the diameter, I just take everything how it is, and let's draw a first wire. I put the wires in the corners of the area allowed for bonding. And this is my first wire. I will now have a row of bond wires. I create 15 bond wires with a distance of 0.9 millimeters. I have these wires now and we can see here four wires are not on the area allowed to bond. I delete these wires and now I want to distribute these wires on the diode chip here more evenly that I use also the space here. I change the view and I see the control points of the wires. I can select the control points and I can scale these control points. The same I do on the IGBT. Okay, here we have some bond points that I have to move to. They have to be here. Okay, now I need to move the wires to the side in order that I free up some space to reach the gate pad. For this I use the gumball tool. I move these wires, these wire feet to two millimeters to the left and these one two millimeters to the right. Okay. I create now the layout for the control wires. And here I select a wire diameter of 0.2 millimeter. I add the bond wire from the center of the bond pad to the center of this fillet radius. Okay, and I want to rotate the bond feet. I first align the bond feet with the axis. Okay, and the destination foot I will rotate by 90 degrees. Okay, now we have to do the same layout here, just mirrored. So what I do, I, I select all these wires and let's mirror the wires. This is the mirror command. I select between this endpoint and this endpoint. And this is my mirror axis and I get the wires on this side. Okay, see, here 
the foot is rotated in the wrong direction. I have to correct this. It must be nine, minus 90 degrees. Okay, then there's one bond wire missing from this metal pad to this metal pad. Let's add this bond wire. Okay, so now let's have a look at the layout. Let's change the display mode to shaded, then we can see it better. So I might now fine tune the loops. I call the loop parameters dialog and I want to define the loop height with reference to the source, not, not the, the destination bond wire here on the substrate. Now the reference is the source on the chip and I prefer the reference on the substrate. So I put all references to destination bond, click apply and now the wire is a bit lower. I want to change also the height of this first stitch loop. I just put 2.5 here. And I want to change the shape. I will produce other videos where I explain what these values mean. Okay, it's now looks for me better. Okay, and now I want to copy these parameters to all the other wires and I can do this with the copy wire parameters command. I select all kind of parameters to copy. And now I'm done. I have my layout. Okay, so you can also do uh, some special things like changing the cross section of the power wires. Let's define a hexagonal cross section and this can be useful for a finite element simulation. It is much more efficient to mesh such a geometry than round wires. And since Rhino is a full featured 3D software, you can do a lot of things like also creating a 2D drawing out of this 3D geometry and I show you an example. This is a PDF generated using Rhino. We see here the bond wires with uh, X coordinates indicated here and also the bond points. These are green points which show the start of the bond wire and on the other side we have blue. This is the end of the bond wire and you can also indicate where you have your reference for the bond wire coordinates. So it's up to you how you, would, how you want to do your 2D drawing. And you can also do nice renderings. And if you go to the MVIS website, go to mvis.ch slash wire. And here you will see nice pictures. And this is for instance, a nice rendering. And I hope you enjoy MVIS wire. If you want to try MVIS Wire, you can download the evaluation version for free, which will be uh, running until end of 2020. For the case that you watch this video and 2020 is already over, ask us for your free trial. Enjoy MVIS Wire!